get the super high ego guys. Try to cover underneath me. Hey pilots, Plasma 1945, and in this video I'm about to score a hundred kilometer kill in my flanker. And of course, we're also powered by Fox 3MS here at Red Star Squadron. Get your DCS servers at fox3ms.com. My target is an F-15 that is screaming towards me at full power. And I'm about to identify as an F-15 Eagle or an F-14 Tomcat and uh, give him what feels very wrong. And that is a PL-12 on Growling Sidewinder at a range of over 90 kilometers, actually closer to 100. He's at Angels 14, so around Angels 45, 46, Mach 1.6. I'm pushing up to 12 kilometer altitude, Mach 1.25, and there's the Fox 3 at 98 kilometers. That is one heck of a range. I didn't quite expect it to hit him, but I was high and fast. Now, for those who are wondering, that missile just broke Mach 4.6 on its way towards the enemy and it's going to hit very hard. Now, for those who are watching this video, I recommend that you check out the video that's going to pop up in the corner about how to get to altitude and save fuel and fly like an F-15, even though you're in a flanker. And that's actually applicable for all aircraft and DCS. For now, that PL-12 is screaming at Mach 3.5, over two thirds of the way towards that F-15 Eagle, and he has no idea. I'm holding lock, and there we go, I break lock. While the missile is about 17 kilometers away, perfect timing, the missile goes active. The F-15 fired a couple of missiles back at me, but my missile is screaming. Mach 3 splash on the F-15. Splash F-15 up high. Nice. All right, let's watch this in replay. Turning onto the target. And I'm going to bring up my nose just a little bit to help the missile get some altitude. There's the Fox 3. I've got my jammers on so the Eagle can't quite burn through them until he gets to about 50 miles. The missile's flying fast. I'm kind of skipping through the time here. I don't want to make you wait for a minute while the missile gets towards the target. There's the Eagle. There's the splash. And that's how you utilize speed and power. All right, so F-18, if I hit this F-18, well, it'll just prove the point that if you're at 10,000 meters doing Mach 1.6, nothing can stand in your way. Well, maybe like two or three F-15 Eagles, but at this point, that F-18 also might be in trouble. Of course, if you like this video and uh, the content, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and check out other videos, including instructions as to how to get to altitude and get fast so your missiles become this deadly. That's a 27 ER, that's a Fox 1 missile. The F-18 realizes he's in trouble. He pops an AIM-120, no chance. Splash by a 27 ER while I'm doing Mach 1.7, turning so fast that his AIM-120 goes stupid. Let's go to the replay. Rolling in, there's the Fox 1s that dive in towards the target. Maintaining lock. That F-18 is trying to extend. He's popping some flares and chaff. Splash F-18. All right, so as you can see, speed is a definite advantage and it makes a huge difference. And what I'd like to get from this video is your comments. If you've been able to go fast and high in aircraft that are not just Tomcats, F-15s or F-16s, do you actually go fast and high in the flanker? Because that's what I'd like to see the community do is yes, flying in the weeds is a lot of fun and being sneaky, but I believe that the Red 4 DCS community can start flying high and fast also to take out enemy aircraft. And I believe that time can come again. And I'll have a follow-up video on the PL-12 missile, its utilization as well. So that's coming up. For now, I've got Andre777 from Red Star Squadron, who's just formed up with me as I was coming in from that sortie. And I think this is our first attempt at a joint landing. He's one of our new recruits. And if you're interested in flying flankers and other aircraft and flying with us, go to www.redstar.com dcs.com 
and uh, you'll get a link to our Discord. And we do all kinds of events and things, so you guys can also hop in with us there as well. Now, I'm almost out of fuel after that flight, but I was able to get three splashes and assisted my friends as well as we did that sortie. So just coming around to a final for a landing. Not a heck of a lot of fuel, but I had to go around because it was just a bit too fast going into that landing. All right, so turning in and uh, you know what? It's a good point to just kind of throw out here and discuss. Leave any comments or questions. Of course, comments always help a YouTube channel as well as the likes, but let's get the conversation going in this video. Have you flown high and fast? What are your challenges that you're experiencing? Um, as you can see from other comments, I respond to all comments. And of course, if you are flying single player, get open beta, come to the multiplayer servers. The community definitely could use more pilots flying here. And there is the touchdown with Andre on my wing. And that's the beauty of flying online is you make friends and uh, you get to work together and have fun. All right, I'll apply some brakes and uh, maybe deploy a parachute just to slow myself down a little bit. As Andre races by me, let's go to an external view. Looking good, Successful Andre. Great landing. landing. Brakes out, parachute out. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys with uh, Andre doing some drifting because every squad needs a, a drifting specialist. And um, you can split throttle in a flanker and use um, braking to do drifting. So I'll leave you with that. As always, fly safe, everybody. And uh, Andre is making really, really impressive drifting maneuvers here. Wait for that 360. There it is. Check that out. Give you some flares here. And there's the flares. Well done, Andre. <laughs> Plasma 1945 is out.